Hi everyone, I'm Tara Anastasia. I'll be interviewing the lovely student we have here today. Um, so what is your name and what are you studying? I am Marcus Huber and I'm studying mechanical engineering. Mm -hmm. I'm currently in my third year now. Uh, so yeah. Oh, lovely. And um, what is your favorite activity to do outside of university? Uh, funnily enough, it is HMB. It's the sport I do. It's the, the club I represent at uni. Uh, as well, I, I'm part of the Australia team currently. I fight out of Team Kraken in Melbourne. I fight with the five on fives and I'm currently, I just dropped down to being one of Australia's heavyweight pro fighters. Uh, I still have to take that title. Uh, I've just finally made it into the weight class where I can actually go for it. But uh, yeah. That's so cool. What does the acronym stand for, for those who don't know it? Oh, uh, Historical Medieval Battles. So oh. we dress up in full steel armor. We fight with steel weapons. Uh, the team fights start at a five on five. So we get in there, you're out when you're on the ground. So you're basically trying to throw the other opponents down or kind of compromise them in a way where they don't want to be standing anymore. They decide they don't want to be playing this game anymore. Uh, so yeah. I love it. I'm going to add it to my bucket list one day when I'm uh, strong enough. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the cool thing about the club I train with. Uh, and that's where we're going to be training when we're allowed to. Uh, we've got a full gym set up as well. So we get to get strong while we train. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll, we'll normally get there like an hour or two hours before training, lift some weights, uh, do that kind of stuff, and then get into the, the more uh, technical aspects of our sport. Perfect. Well, students, you know, you've heard it. Like, if you want to get involved and get some great exercise and great friendships, that's a perfect club to join. Yeah, um, we are. We, um, We're a perfect club for those friendships as well. Like, like, you don't forge friendships better than when you're actually fighting with somebody because you've got to be friends with them. Uh, if you're not, they... <laughs> yeah, no, it just forges really good friendships. Like, you don't get that in other sports, really. That's so good. And we're a team sport as well, which is crazy. We're, we're one of the few fighting team sports that exist. It's It just doesn't exist out in other places. Well, hopefully it expands to the future because I think it's quite an interesting um, club and a society Ooh. to work with as well. And all those opportunities to get outside yeah. the campus, amazing. Oh, absolutely. Like, um, it, it's massive through Europe. It's massive through America. And there's so many opportunities to travel and fight. And you you immediately get that family that exists over in Europe as well. I've heard so many great stories of guys just going over there and having accommodation because people are willing to put them up, even if they're going out to fight them the next day. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. A good way to make a friendship for life. Wonderful. It is. It really is. Awesome. And I was going to say as well, what made you inspired to start a club and what are the key tips for engagement? I met a few friends at Swingburn that decided to come train with me uh, with uh, Team Kraken. And we all started getting way more into it. And a couple of us went, more people at the uni would love to hear about this. Why, why don't we, we do something there? We can start up a club. We can, we can get the uni to, to, uh, to help us acquire some more kit so we can bring more people in. And it just felt like, why don't, like we're so, so close to Swingburn. Why don't we like try to bring him in? And so, yeah, myself and uh, Leon, jumped on that we started putting it together and uh it, it turned out to be a pretty easy process it was that's good cool. fun and i think uh, yeah. sports clubs get extra funding so that's a really good tidbit for anyone that wants to start Ooh. a club potentially absolutely it's a, it's uh i think it's a really great way to get that equipment mm -hmm. if you don't have easy access to it or if you don't have enough of it and if you just put it get in there put it forward the, the people running the clubs love the idea of having more sports club and they want to get you the equipment. They're, they're not, yeah, they, they want more of this to happen and they're, they're really passionate. It's great. Perfect. And I'm also curious with your past experience, <laughs> what position have you taken at the university that has de demonstrated um, leadership? Uh, so oh, for the university, I was president of the club for the first year it was up. Uh, we've, tried to do as much engagement stuff while uh, as soon as COVID hit I went back to Wodonga and we just tried to keep it running from back there a uh, year after that Leon jumped in as president uh, and I jumped in as team uh, kind of the coach I, I love think that. the position is yeah we just I've got the most experience fighting I've got a bit 
a, a bit more than Leon. I've represented for team one. So uh, I jumped in as coach and I've just been trying to set up stuff. We haven't had as much engagement once again. It's just been very, um, we're a physical sport. It's kind of hard to run a physical sport by a distance and it's, it's unfortunate, but we'll get it up and going very soon and we're all very excited for it. Amazing. Sounds like a power duo. I love mm. it. Love the energy. Mm. And I'm curious, what was the most memorable club event that you've ever held? Was there anything that just like stood out for you? Oh, that we held. Oh, it was the first one when, uh, when we started, uh, we had uh, the orientation week where, where Leon and I uh, threw our kit on. So we were running around the uni in full armor. I'm sh- I hope you remember that. I do you remember that. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I love we got it. a few great looks. It was it was a lot of fun, and people got really uh, interested and excited. We managed to do a uh, pub night at the Walker. Oh my goodness! Yes, uh, I love the Walker. It was great. We had really really fun. People come around. Uh, everybody was super passionate about the idea of getting started. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to for for many reasons, but. Uh, just that there was a lot of people really keen to get engaged. Uh, it was a real good mix as well from, from people that had already done stuff with weapons, whether that be through HEMA, through SCA, through LARP or through fencing, uh, to a mixture of people that were a bit more book smart, that just didn't feel a lot of sports were for them, yeah. but really could feel the, the vibe of... I guess we're a bunch of big nerds at heart. We all, we're all a bit out there. We all love our uh, pop culture. We all love our video games. That was a safe. Uh, oh, hundred percent. We are one of the safest unsafe places we you can be at. <laughs> we accept everybody, and we will hurt you all equally. Uh, Very good. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but I can promise you, yeah, we're, we're very welcoming to everybody and we're just there for a good time awesome. uh, and to build some skills up. It's great. I love that. I'm curious as well, yeah. students that are nervous about starting up a club, they might be like, oh my gosh, where do I start? Yeah. What advice would you have for people that are thinking about starting their own club, a sports club, mm-hmm. preferably? So. Yeah, uh, find a friend that's passionate about it with you. Yeah. Like, like having, having that second person as support is gonna make it all so much easier. Um, It's really gonna take the pressure off. I have to do it all and I have to, 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 hey, we can just hang out. We can get through a bit of the paperwork because there's a little bit of paperwork to get through, but you're at uni, you're clearly capable of doing a little bit of paperwork. Uh, But just having that friend there, that friend really makes it uh, easy. And especially if they're just as passionate as you about it all, you'll smash through it. it. It's it's not hard and then meet and greet people and just enjoy it I think uh the the people running the system the people helping you get set up want to see that you're you're enjoying it and you're passionate and if you're all of that they're going to do everything they can to help you awesome Uh, they're great thank you so much that's really inspiring I hope a lot of students feel more reassured when they're going into it later on as well so yeah um I was curious as well you probably I don't know if you've met Gabriel, but um, he's really great. And he's part of the fencing. He, he was in one of the other episodes that we had. And um, I think he was number one in Australia. Super cool. I, I feel like I've met him, uh, but it, it's been a while and I'm terrible with names. So I, I hope I get to meet him if I haven't. And if I have, I hope I get to catch up with him soon. Yes, that'd be really cool. You guys will get along so well. Um, similar energies. So the next question is... Oh what are the top three things you like to do on campus like do you like going to the atrium are you down for like sushi hub are you like okay burgers and parma something like that what do you love doing on campus Uh, i'm on campus it's coffee like there's so many good coffee joints around i'm I'm bound to get one basically as soon as i get there uh and the other things are going to be the super nerdy side of me where i i'll get to the mash lab if i'm if i'm there and i don't know many like where my mates are or I just need a good study session, I'm gonna head to the MASH lab. It's such a awesome center. Like the teachers there have been great. Um, that's that's where I'm going. Uh, and if I do have some mates there, I kind of love the energy in the library. It, I know it's a bit weird, but but level three, 
has has got me through some really good study sessions in my first year. It was awesome. My mates were great. And uh, just, just having those friends in the same classes really made it easy to, to kind of study and get through a bunch. It was good. That's so great. Thank you for sharing. And Ooh. if you had a time machine, you can go back and speak to yourself at the first year before you get started. Like, what would be the advice you'd give? Like, hold on, Marcus. Like, let me, I got to say something to you. What would it be? Uh, see, this is a weird one because I kind of feel like first year Marcus is doing a better, was doing a better job than I am now. <laughs> uh, well, like, no, I, I'm really lucky. I'm a, I'm kind of, I did an apprenticeship first. I worked for a few years. I came into uni of t- at 25. Uh, so I already had a little bit of like, I'd already made a lot of dumb mistakes and I don't feel I've made too many dumb mistakes while I've been at uni. So I don't really have that, like, watch out for this trap, man. It, it'll it'll catch you. But w- when I first started, I was um, just by simply going to the MASH lab and and setting out some really clear, easy goals week by week of like, ah, I just got to get these little things done. And just keeping up with that. I I really got through it so easily. I've, as, as we've been stuck at home more and more, I've probably got lazier and I kind of need first year markers to come back and and kick my ass on, on those little points. If, if I was going to give anybody advice, it would just be those little things of set your, set your basic goals, keep it really simple, keep it really achievable. Uh, and just go out, meet them, and and go and get help as soon as it starts to become like a thing. Like like it's so easy to find good help, especially if it's maths or science. There's there's stuff set up at the uni for it. And we're ready. If it's the English side of things, go to the library. They are lovely people. Um, yeah, they, I think just just understand where those help centers are and go use them because they're brilliant amazing Uh, thank you for that that's really great there is one last there is one last question though and it's the most important out of all the questions and it has to be answered with the utmost honesty what is your favorite type of coffee uh latte i i always just reach for the latte it's such easy i make it at home all the time that's nice nice do you have it's not quite true life oh yeah two sugars i i (laughs) my dad hates it but I, I just I have to like it a little sweet um awesome oh my gosh yeah, I don't yeah what about yourself your favorite coffee oh okay uh no it's actually that before come I feel on. so privileged thank you um my favorite yeah, coffee is on. an almond latte with butterscotch syrup and three sugars with almond milk and sometimes I put like some cute like dairy-free chocolate in it if I really want to spice it up oh. yeah that's what I like <laughs> all right Thank you. Oh, I, oh, brilliant. I recommend trying. That's, that's a lot of almond. Ah, okay. Next time we hang out, I'll be grabbing that. Um, I'll give it a crack. Perfect. Like the crack. Ah. Eh, eh. Eh, <laughs> eh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, another dad joke, guys. Oh, got to have it. Thank you. And thank, ah. thank you, Matt Marcus, for coming on. Students, give him a round of applause if you're watching and a like. And yeah, follow all the social media, join the club, and most importantly, keep an eye out for the next event. Awesome. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Hopefully we'll be able to get to do this soon. Yes, definitely. Take care. Bye. Bye.